Welcome, everyone, to analysis of the Old Testament survey. Pastor Gavin is the host of this series, and I am just an analyst. Um, we are just discussed. Um, this is following uh, the book of Ruth. Uh, so that's what we're going to uh, discuss in this episode. Marcus Fredrickson does the music. Make sure you check him out uh, and share out his song, ReverbNation.com slash Marcus Fredrickson. And the song Free is the uh, music that we use for both Pastor Gavin series and the post show. So make sure you check that out. Uh, Pastor Gavin, the book of Ruth, um, Naomi, Naomi and mm. her and her two daughter-in-laws are wid widowed, meaning her two sons died and her husband. Right. Yeah. And that happened, uh, where were they at the time that that happened? Uh, they were in Moab, east Moab. of Israel, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that was one of the neighboring nations of Israel. Yeah. And then she wanted to, Naomi wanted to go, or not Naomi, I'm sorry. Uh, Ruth wanted to go back home to to Bethlehem. Yeah, well, well, Naomi wanted to go back home to Bethlehem. So so uh, Ruth well, and or yeah, Orpah, the two daughter-in-laws, were given a choice. You know, Ruth, Naomi thought, Hey, you two girls would certainly want to stay in Moab. You have no obligation to me to come with me. I wouldn't even expect it. But Ruth, she said, no, I want to go home with you to Bethlehem. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. So so she chose God and over the gods of the Moabites and that whole thing. So Ruth wanted to... Uh, she put her faith in the true and living God, the God of Israel. So she said, yeah, I, I want to go back and be with you, uh, Naomi, and your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Okay. Yeah. So Naomi uh, wanted to go back. I, yeah, to, I had them backwards there. Yeah, yeah I had them yeah. backwards there. Naomi wanted to go back. I know the name of the book is Ruth, so you're thinking. So really we're following her, her daughter-in-law. That's really what it's about. Yeah. It's about her journey. Um, yeah. Naomi. Yep, so her daughter-in-law wanted to follow her mother-in-law back home. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she accepted uh God yeah. and yeah. gave up the uh the false gods of the Moabites and, and so forth. Right. Yeah. Um uh, now when okay, so it's Naomi. Now when Naomi gets back and Ruth, um she offers to marry Boaz in order to buy her land back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, that's, and, and and a part another part of it was if if a woman in Israel was married and her husband died and didn't have any children, it was customary that like the, a close relative, preferably even the brother, would marry the widow, and the first child born, the first son born, would be declared to be the son of the one who died. It was just it's it's called Leverite marriage. And it's okay. just, just the way they did things back then. Yeah. Well, some of that, I mean, even marrying a brother or, or a sister, um, as you know, if you could find some of that in our own American history, I mean, long ago, usually more towards when we were the colonies and stuff before we actually became the United States. But that was, that's, that was a kind of a custom even up till, you know, when we founded yeah. the country. Yeah. So this would be like, <clears throat> um, you know, marrying your brother's widow. Yeah, yeah, it would happen a lot during, uh, especially yeah. after the Civil War and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes people would do that. Yeah, the Revolutionary and Civil War that did happen um, even in this mm -hmm. own country. So, and it's not. I mean, that's you know, it's okay to do that. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, <clears throat> Ruth. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but Ruth basically tells Naomi to get busy with Boaz. She sends him to his feet um i understand yeah, she's coaching him yeah, yeah she's yeah. coaching him yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but um that's basically what she was telling her to do really like yeah, you know yeah. hey go marry this guy and we'll get our land you know you can get your land back so yeah. even her own daughter-in-law was was supporting her and, and right her and it, and you know and it wasn't just about getting the land back either it was more than that it was like you know this would be good for ruth to have a husband like, you know, her husband died. Yeah. And so this would be good for her future. And and uh, so it was, it, it was, yeah, important to get the land back for Naomi's family. But, uh, but it was for know, Ruth also. Yeah, right. Yeah. 
Okay. So this would um, ensure a, a, you know, a future uh, and security for uh, Ruth. So it was okay. a loving, a loving thing, uh, you know, yeah. not sheer manipulation just for the land. No, no, yeah. no, no. Yes, it was. Yes, yeah. I don't. I didn't. I want to. Yes, don't confuse any of our viewers. It wasn't just manipulation for the land yeah. or whatever. This yeah. was. I mean, you weren't saying there. that, but I'm just in case anyone yeah. gets that idea. You know. Yeah, or you know, just in case anybody did think I was trying to say that. Um, yeah. Yeah, you were talking about the kinsman. Um, that's that's with um, that's with um, Boaz maybe not having the right to marry. Yeah, Mayo, he, he, right? yeah, he was a relative, but. He wasn't the closest relative. Now, uh, when you say relative, a, a relative of her husband. Yeah, right. Not yeah. her, not her own. Right. I just yeah, so to this, that yeah, this is a yeah a kinsman or relative of Elimelech, Naomi's husband. Yeah, who had died. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it doesn't yeah, so, say exactly what you know what relation he was. I mean, yeah, a cousin would, or I, I don't so, know. So, so Boaz just says was, kinsman. So Boaz was in, was relation to um, Naomi's husband, right? Yeah, her late but husband. it had to go through another uh, one that was closer. Yeah, yeah, he had the first right. This other guy who was a closer relative had the first right. Okay, uh, but he said he wasn't able to. You know. So. Yeah. Okay, um, and then well, that's basically just a couple of the points that I wanted to touch on there. Um, the book of so now. Let me just say one more thing. Yeah. So, uh, so Naomi and Boaz were from Bethlehem. Oh, yeah. And and so, they were the ancestors of King David. So Let's, David I wanna, if I can, that? if I can, what is the you you went over it right at the end, but uh, Ruth, who did she end up marrying, or do we not get that? Information? Ruth Ruth uh, married Boaz. Oh, Ruth was yeah. the one that married Boaz, not Naomi. Yeah. No, no. Oh, see, there you go. I was confused about that right there. Okay, so so Naomi wasn't the one who married Boaz. Right. Ruth. Ruth. Ruth did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that yep. makes more. That makes a little more. So sense Naomi now. was just coaching Ruth. Yeah. You know, okay. Hey, here's, well, I have that here's what there. you should do. Now, here's here's the significant part of it. Okay, so. So King David was from Bethlehem. Yeah. Right. And uh, so Micah, the prophet, about 500 years before Jesus was born, he said, Thou Bethlehem of Ephrata, though thou be little among the princes of Judah, out of thee shall come forth who shall be governor, who shall rule my people Israel. So in other words, Micah the prophet was saying that Jesus would be born in Bethlehem. So when Jesus was born, remember the angel said to uh, the, the shepherds, unto you is born this day in the city of David, yeah. the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. So the shepherds said, hey, let's go to Bethlehem and see this glorious thing. And remember the wise men, they came to Herod. They said, where is he who is born king of the Jews? For we have seen a star in the east and are come to worship him. So Herod said to the scribes, where did the scriptures say that the Messiah would be born? You know, the king of the Jews. And they looked at Micah 5 verse 2 on Bethlehem of Ephrata. And you know, there are two different Bethlehems in Jesus' day when he was born. Okay. One in Judah, where David was from. But there was one in, you know, the northern area of uh like uh, northwest of the Sea of Galilee. But Micah specifically said Bethlehem of Judea. Uh, so, so it's you know, that that's part of the significance too. Yeah, that he specified yeah. which, you know, because yeah. even in America right now, there's towns that have the same name. I mean, you can even find right. four or five cities in the, in the country that maybe have the same name. Uh, yeah, so it's not common. Yeah, and that's one thing that, that identified... Which Jesus one? says the Messiah, that uh, he was a descendant of King David, and he was born in Bethlehem. So, yeah, that's um, all right. So now, take us through. Can you take us through the 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 line again from Ruth and Boaz to King David? Uh, 
Yeah, so um, here here it says, uh, well, this is at the end of... Yeah, the end of Ruth. When you, I know you yeah. just went, you just said at the end of the episode, I just thought it might be, you know, worth going over one last time before we closed out a close yeah. out of our after show to follow the uh, the line. Right. It it says okay. Um, okay, so uh, you know this is from the tribe of Judah. Okay, so Judah. Uh, he had a son named Pharez, begat Hezron, Hezron begat Ram, Ram begat Aminadab, Aminadab begat Nashon, Nashon begat Salmon, Salmon begat Boaz, Boaz begat Obed, Obed begat Jesse, and Jesse begat David. So, so King, da- King David, yeah, by King David. Right. So, so you have Boaz, then you have Obed their son, and then you have Jesse, then you have David. So, so four generations later. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that's about all I had for, for the book of Ruth. <clears throat> Please leave a comment. If you would like us uh, to talk, we get a couple of comments. We'll do a comment show or, uh, you know, uh, you know, whatever you, people have questions. Um, We'll be doing this look every Wednesday on the Boiling Point podcast channel and every Sunday nights they'll be available on Pastor Gavin's YouTube channel. Make sure you check him out, YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash at Gavin Whitcomb, SR.9168. I had it up on the screen a couple of times, but check him out. And of course, Boiling Point podcast, we're on Rumble, YouTube, um, and then you can follow us on Facebook as well. This is our series surveying the old testament or the old testament survey i'm sorry and uh this is our analysis of the of the survey and uh for pastor gavin who is the host of the series i am jd and that's the end Bear the dreadful curse for my